your name, sir? Vern Brown. Uh, clearly a Warriors fan. Clearly, <laughs> yes. Favorite player? Uh, Curry. Curry? Do you think the Cavs losing Zayn Malik will affect the Cavs' one direction defense? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not at all? Not at all, no. I mean, is one direction going to be the same without without him? Uh, I, I think it will be, yes. Think it'll be okay? Yes, yes. Warriors all day! Do you think the Warriors are going to start L. Ron Hubbard? No. Not, in my personal opinion, no. Why is that? He don't seem like he, he, he does well under pressure. Now, do you feel that uh, Stevie Nicks will finally be able to take down Lindsey Buckingham? Well, it's a possibility. It's a possibility? It's a possibility. How? Well, just with the strength, his strength and his experience. So who do you feel stronger, Stevie Nicks or Lindsey Buckingham? Uh, CB Nicks. CB Nicks. LeBron stunned the world today when he announced that he'll be changing his name to Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Now, what was your reaction to that news? I was surprised. I thought I thought he wanted to stay LeBron. I mean, do you think it's a good idea to change his name to Michael Jordan? Well, marketing, yeah. I mean, where were you when you heard this? Uh, I was I was sitting at home watching TV and I seen it. I was shocked to see that. I'm gonna name some players and then you just give me how you feel about them one to ten, how they're gonna do. Okay. So, LeBron? Uh, I'd say nine. Kyrie Irving? Seven. Iman Schrupper? Uh, uh, seven. Uh, Malcolm Jamal Warner? Six. Overall, have you been happy with the performance of the Warriors coach, Hugh Wayne? Of course. They made a lot of turnarounds. They were kind of in the back stands for a while. Now but he keeps noise. growing as, yeah. a, as a coach. Progression is, you know, changes progression. Is it possible for the Warriors to penetrate Cleveland's tri-tip defense? Yeah, because, I mean, really, nobody can run around and chase Steph or Clay. Even in the transition, then nobody's going to catch him and it's going to go in all the time. I mean, should the Warriors use uh, A1 on them? Yeah, we should, that's how we should start. We should start it by A1 and end it and just end it in four. Like, let's just go home. What do you think of the new finals rule where one white guy has to be on the court for each team at all times? Are you serious? You're lying to me. <laughs> I am lying, sir, and I, I apologize, Robert Jackson. There's an attorney? Yeah, yeah I do. I do. Most of And Nigo Montoya is playing for revenge this series. Yes. Think he's going to get it? No. They killed his father. I don't know. Everybody's been talking about LeBron's new tattoo that he got for the finals. Uh -huh. You've seen that? Oh, uh, yes. You think it's offensive to have the Tasmanian devil on a crucifix? I think that that, that is horrible. <laughs> I think that's horrible to have the, the Tasmanian devil known for wrecking stuff yeah. on the crucifix. You know, that represents Christ. Yeah, you saw that? Yeah, it was crazy. Where were you when you saw that? I, I saw it on social media. I yeah. saw it on Facebook. Are people talking about it? Yes. What are they saying about the Tasmanian devil on a crucifix? A lot of people are saying it's an abomination. A lot of people actually like it. There's a lot of people um, who have mixed feelings about it because they do like the Tasmanian devil and they do like Jesus. So it's kind of like a conflict of their, you know, what's going on. For the people out there who aren't big basketball fans, break down the Warriors to duck in defense for me. What makes it so special? The dunk, the they're turn duck and defense. Well, I think what it is is that when they come down the court, they they shift off where they shove they don't the have, chicken yeah, inside then, the turkey. Yeah, and then they just it just seems like they're Slice always the whole thing down the middle. Right, but they're just trying to defense against the, the what's coming at them, and then that's real important too. And there's duck in there too. Yeah. What was the first thing that went through your head when you heard that Kevin Love had tested positive for urine earlier in the week? Well, I think that's a matter that they're going to have to take care of after the season because it's too critical right now. We can't lose no players right now unless they do something really, really across the line. Were you surprised that Kevin Love tested positive for urine? I'm surprised that anybody would, pop, you know, you know, test positive in the playoffs. I mean, they're too good of players to even go through their route. I mean, you know, they just talented players. Is there something wrong with testing positive for urine this late in the season? Uh, I feel that uh, if it haven't been discovered yet, it's, you know, it's, it's best to wait until after the season. We're here with the good Reverend Jesse Action Jackson. Reverend Jackson, what were your thoughts when you heard that the Warriors were going to be implementing a Rainbow Coalition defense? Are you out of your mind? This is purple rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no idea what that means. 